bump, 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 are live dang on rampa trigger happy havoc which might very well be i'm hoping the very last chapter that we are going to run on with the alcohol is being served ladies and gentlemen we're ready to jump on in for the final despair at least that's what i'm certainly hoping not that i'm hoping that it's the end of the game but you know what we've played this long enough so uh we're ready to jump on into the final chapter chapter six ladies and gentlemen uh, shit has gone down, and I and I think uh, I think uh, I think we're ready to roll. So let's load the save up, see where we're gonna get, and go from here. How you doing? The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. The same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. Yes, it's become quite the sensation. The most desperately awful group of people ever. And that is the Mastermind's true identity. We don't know who the true Mastermind is yet, but our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now, anyway. we have to get out of this horrible, horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after, and that's fine. You're right. So generally... Little bit of bringing up here for everyone that's on par here, making sure everyone is together. After chapter five, we were determined to be the killer, even though we were not. Kyoko wouldn't dare speak her mind, so we were sent on down to be killed. But what happened was, we weren't. We are sent on down to uh, sort of the trash area, and thus there, Kyoko followed us. And uh, we're here for chapter six. So we've already talked to Kyoko. Let's just chat it up with her again, make sure everything's gonna go wrong. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room. Do you got it? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. So she has the key to what we believe is the mastermind or the headmaster's room, headmaster's That's office. Right. And we should be able to use it on that door, right? Of course we should. And we're gonna go visit. And maybe this door is gonna open up with that as well. Can we use that key of yours to open this door? It's true. Let's find out. Obviously, we can only find out. We took the key out with a monokuma design on it and slid it on into the DMs of the keyhole. And then, no, and then, clickaroo, it opened. Hey, hey! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go! Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit and into reality. Right? That's how it goes. Finally! We're finally free. Well, we're not technically free, not yet. Wasn't even time to take a breath of fresh air before the real fight is just gonna begin. Chapter 6, the ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. It's the deadly life. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up, like a chimney, of course. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Take a look at that view, eh, people? The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. We just climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were down so far. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. Hey. 
You said ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among the actual detectives, many people haven't even heard of us. But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? right? Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our own existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned. I can't say it's entirely rational, but it's in our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride, that word again. So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose. To protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... I gave up some of that pride. What? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirijiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, ladies and gentlemen, the reason you would go so far to enter Pokes, Pokes? Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, your Fazia. There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But but you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face what is it so i want to sever all ties with him sever the last time i saw him i was still very young so i don't remember myself but apparently he was extremely intelligent he was in line to become the next head of the Kirijiri family. He was talented. He had a promising future. <coughs> However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died. And he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. As young as I was, he left me behind. But I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work that I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. I, if I'd gone with him, I'd never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. Look down, you moron! But I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. And more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there is one thing. 
One thing that I can never forgive. <coughs> so... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life, and I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past, in order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family, just to cut him out like that? Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I didn't know how long, we finally reached the top. Great, now a door we can't open. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of us, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. That's right. We're back! Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should come open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand and pushed against the hatch. Creak! The hatch opened with ease. And so. Looks like we're back. I can't believe how long the ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. So, now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if that mastermind finds out, I'm worried about you too. You helped me, so they might... Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then. Then let's just get a concrete answer. In other words, let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's. However, if we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared? You said something like that before. What does it even mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for all of us if we can go directly to him before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little... No. Super uneasy about this. But we really don't have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? So let's get going. Leave the area, let's head to the gym, let's get shit figured out. To the map, people. 
to the gym entryway we go. Throwing exclamation points out there like nobody's business. Well now, well now, well now, well now. Well now. <laughs> Kyoko, I don't mind so much. Hi. But Makoto's supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? It's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko, right. do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? What? I lose? Hey. Explain yourself, what do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words, I was supposed to be chosen as the blackened and then executed, right? <clears throat> hey, 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 what are you talking about? However, but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. And because of that, you never imagined that in the position one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the blackened and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation, no more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. Huh? However, I see you found out who, yeah, how you doing buddy, how you doing Shalakard? But then there was another unexpected development, an entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of being that could come to aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't cool, cool? Didn't cool, Makuro. You did. <laughs> so executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your own rules, which I know you love so much. <clears throat> if the blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Huh. And that means I lose. You talk a big game. You're saying the blackened is me and not Makoto. Well. And you can prove this, right? Wow. Well. No. I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine to make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. Poom, poom. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never really would have come to you unwillingly like that. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution, he would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you love so to inspire. However, but here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not that I'm trying to convince you. Hey. It's if you were trying to execute Makoto now, Everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Hey. So of course you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No. You have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Yeah, get that gay shit out of here, Kyoto! Yeah, exactly. If you want to earn our despair fair and square... That's what we have to do. Then I suggest you take my advice. So what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Makoto's trial over again. Only this time, 
you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Okay then. That would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Makuro's killer, of the mastermind themselves. I don't want to hear that hippie shit again. Yeah, exactly, right? But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll just execute me with another word. We got him. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. Barry? Well, of course we're going to have the bear puns laying on out. Oh, I was getting a little bored, but I decided to change things up a little, so time for some bear jokes. Now, what you've just suggested is uh, possible, but it would certainly make for one honey of a climax. Does that mean you accept? You guys. Oh, if we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair. Bearable. But then I'm free bared to agree with your terms. Will you hope went out? Or will you despair claim victory? I can barely Let's have myself. one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. One more shot at this to figure shit out. The long awaited climax. Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. But for this final fast, fast off. You'll have to unearth all of the mysteries that have been buried here. All of the mysteries? All of them. Every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. I love that, qualify. Well, that's what we've been trying to do all along. Well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Makuro's death and solve the mysteries of the school, then you win. <laughs> but if you can't do all that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. What kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? Yeah, I remember that for sure. So, what? Hey. Well, I just want to confirm that is what she said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Great first Kiribiti blast us that hippie shit, and now we're all going to die. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, exactly, right? Thanks, Obama, indeed. After having a trial from a curl, is no exception to that. Then it's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuro... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but enough puns. Here's a hint. I'm sure he already told you this, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope Speak Academy since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> Just like the Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would you? This is enough TED talk for most people. <sighs> he seems just so emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone. Get out of here. I'm, I'm going. Just, just. You're really gonna let me go? For now. 
I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, he's on to it, all right. That's it. Hey. Come on, Makoto. Let's go. <laughs> That's a lot of laughs. <laughs> and with the un unstable laughter, he seemed to cling to us as we even walked away. But just like that, we were out of the gym. The guy? What? I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life and we still had our chance. You're down with just a good old fashioned electric chair. I'm not a fancy man. How do you feel about the gas chamber then? How about a firing squad? We need to know, Shalakar. We need to know. We need to know how you feel. We need to know how you feel. How you to do. Well, thank you everything I, I have right now because of you. However, but don't thank me just yet. The real battle is ahead of us. <sighs> I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal, but honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain everything from a final showdown, do so... they? They had no choice but to accept. Because... It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let their guard down. Like I said... So when was it the Mastermind let the guard down? Fill us in, let us know, let the audience know! I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember when the Mastermind said... They said that they hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world? I don't know if I remember that. Oh yeah, but of course they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the actual idea of taking over the airwaves sounds so... Unbelievable. Indeed. But you don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However, and yet, in other words, the mastermind was just able to do it. Think of it another way. They must have had some reason that they had to do something that difficult. A reason? They had to show the world something, no matter what the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but instead forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words, but that's the yes, mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point. A point. Hey. The outside world has a name for students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept about hope, right? That's right. And those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair. The Mastermind wants the world to see that. To try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal, is ultimate despair. What? Yeah! They want to prove that despair is better than nothing, but that's just ridiculous. It's true. It is ridiculous, completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? It doesn't seem that way. Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet, and then? That's the same motivation that's led to the mastermind revealing their true weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. 
And the mastermind has to be able to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored the rules, then this would be a game. It'd just be one-sided slaughter. At the very least. But at least those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. And that is precisely the reason. No matter how much they hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations or rules. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to loot lose the class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed they began a trial that didn't have a right answer and they made me out to be the killer and then we ended up taking the hit for it but even that didn't even work it's true all thanks to you makoto due to that failure the mastermind took yet another risk they attempted to kill you instead who also was not the killer So what happens from here? We gotta prove to the world that despair is better than hope? I don't think that's gonna fly. In other words. They would never have the mastermind show that they broke their own regulations. But it's all just a hunch we have going here, right? But we have a chance. Because I believed in you. And another path opened up. If I could turn back time, do you believe in love after love? Boom, boom, boom. I can feel something inside me saying, I really don't think Makoto did it. No, do you believe he? I believe she would love share songs sung by a streamer from Canada, no. But I know that I'll get through these. And I'm going to stop that right there because just right there, the voice just gave up on me. It had, it had, it tapped out, ladies and gentlemen. It tapped out. Do you believe? No, we don't. We don't believe. We can't believe. We're never going to believe in this again. However. But we're not ready out of the woods yet. We're ready to relax. Have some booze. That's where it's flowing, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. Man! De Serono on the rocks hits the spot every single fucking night, every time. We can't defeat the mastermind. It'll cost us our lives. There's no exception hey. but to win. Oh great, now you gotta share with the class of what's going on? I don't know if I care about that too much. It's gonna be a hard time to get everyone to work together on this one though. That's that's my problem. Work together with everyone. However, I don't think that's even possible. But I guess we'll find out. Maybe even Bayakia won't anyway. be a jackass. We can only find out. Shall we go? All right, we're gonna leave the gym. We're gonna leave the gym, and I think uh, we can head probably to the dining hall. That might make proper sense. Let's see what has the exclamation point. Nope. Nope. There we go. X marks the spot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, dining, where's that dining hall? Bathhouse. Work together? I know, it doesn't have a fucking chance in hell of working, Shalikard. Not a chance in hell. We're gonna get a fucking dick slapped together. It's not just gonna work at all. But we were greeted with dicks across the face from Monokuma. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yes. Hidden that my Sire's final two dot is he broken? He's a fucking robot. He has no idea he's gonna deal with us. The masterminds of Kyoko and Makoto. Makoto son. Yes, yes, yes. However, we don't know what that was about at all. Do I have enough booze here? That's what we're wondering. Oh, but a sire of leaf. Here comes the cavalry. Is, is that Makoto? Yeah, of course it is. It is. There's Just... no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Of course I'm Makoto. You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but I just want to see if something ghost, works. Right? Ariel, it works. I'm happy about it. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I blew my load right into Hina's face. She didn't like it, but she appreciated it that it dribbled down onto her teats. Whoa, that's offside now, isn't it? Heck? Jesus Christ, I'm going to get banned for that. It's Makoto. I smell like a wet dog. A what? <laughs> wet dog. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Talk to Kyoko. So it's always talking to Kyoko. Makoto. No time to indulge in extended happy reunions. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Oh God, nobody wants to explain anything to you, Togami. Mm. But I will explain it to my weird hemp smoking friend here, Yashiro Hagukalu. What do I have to tell you all? I need to tell you about the last class trial. It was all a fucking lie! In other words, we have to redo it. Yes, we have to spend more time down there. Oh, it's terrible. How about that? You didn't do it. You kept telling us. Wrong. You missed Noodle Cup on head, Kirichi. Yeah, we all missed it. We all missed it. <laughs> but then who is it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the Mastermind. Huh? What you're saying is the Mastermind killed Kira Girl? That's right. Something like that. Do you feel like you do? However. Yeah. Connect. I have to say it's so much easier when I'm streaming on one goddamn platform. So much easier. However. Bop, bop, bop. Oh god, what's happening? It's all about loyalty. No, it's not all about your loyalty. Nobody cares about that. I mean, maybe I care a little bit about loyalty, but no, not not really. All right, so what we need are the chai. I think it's a timer, actually. Just put some. Is it Discord? No, nope. Chat commands. It's the uptime chat commands we need to fix. Uptime. Uptown girl, she's been living in an uptown world. Correct. Alright, let's edit that. Naturally. Sure. Uh, okay, I don't even see what's going on. Don't be mean. I don't even see an opportunity to fix anything there. <laughs> Alright, we'll just leave it at that then. About that. About what? But you know, if I want to be honest with you, Shadow Card, though, if I want to be super honest with you, the amount of money I have made on Twitch, um, and and just, and just streaming on Twitch, as as comical as this may be. The amount of viewers that I had multi-streaming was mwah, beautiful. I had a lot more people tuning in. But the money I, I, I made no money multi-streaming. Zero. Nada. Zilch. Not that I need to make money. I, the Twitch streaming is not my job, never will be my job. Unless, of course, I just smack it out of nowhere. No, it's not going to happen. Uh, I've made uh, about $80 uh, 
uh, since I've been streaming since May, which, you know, for, for someone who's, uh, you know, doesn't really uh, care for, for the money coming in, it's better than zero dollars, so... And I didn't make a dime when I was multi-streaming, so, you know, there is that, right? There is that. But figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Makuro and all the school's mysteries. I mean, I, I, there's more money in in streaming on one platform than there is on multiple. As weird as that might sound. As weird as that might sound. I just have a weird feeling. I guess everyone is in bed right now. 10.30? People going to bed early nowadays? I... Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's that's good walking around money. So like, obviously, like part of the the only problem is like so part of it is like, uh, I think forty dollars is locked in on Twitch's end. Indeed. So on Twitch's end, the problem is is until you make a hundred dollars, it's locked in with Twitch for the year. So I think you have to make a hundred dollars with Twitch for the year uh, before they pay it out. <laughs> And then uh, the other part is on, uh, you know, like on the tw on the tip page through PayPal. So you know, I could take it out or do whatever with it. But you know, I just let it sit there. You know, it's just it's just free money. You know, it's there, whatever it is. Yeah, good weekend money though. Absolutely. Buy a case of beer or two and go out, have a little bit of fun. Why not? I see. Uh, so Twitch doesn't take anything per se. Um, so in other words, they take uh, they take fifty percent of my of my subscribers if I do have any subscribers. So if you subscribe to the channel at five bucks, they take two fifty, and then for for the cheers, uh, for the bits, um, they take their own cut words. that doesn't come out of my end. Um, so when you buy bits, you already pay Twitch's end when you buy bits, and then when you give, so if you give me a hundred bits, I get all 100 bits, because to buy those 100 bits, you had to buy, uh, I think it's, like, for me, it's like 140. It might be a little different for you, considering, uh, where you are, but I think it's locked into, uh, the country. So a hundred, a hundred bits cost me 140 for you. It might be 110, something like that. But Twitch takes a, a different cut, um, uh, on the bits end. They, they you know, and then the streamer doesn't see that much. Uh, so they, what, what you, what you give them in bits is what they get. So that, I mean, that's why I love bits. I mean, it sucks that Twitch takes their cut, but there's there's no there's no dilly dallying around on on like the on the Twitch page or on the uh, on the tip page because uh, when you buy bits there's no chargebacks not that I've ever had anyone charge back any of my tips I always I'd always be one of those people that would wait the sixty or ninety days to make sure that the tip is is gonna stay there in the account and then I pull it out because after ninety days the uh, they cannot do a, a chargeback. But on the on the bits that uh, Twitch does, there's no chargebacks. When you buy bits, you agree that you're gonna pay that difference. Uh, so wait, so they double dip once when buying the bits, and then another when they give. No, 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 no. Um, so when you buy, when you go, like when you click on your your the stream right now, when you go to buy bits, it'll say like you're gonna buy. Uh, it'll say for a hundred bits, it's gonna cost you blank. I don't know what it would be to you. I like. I know when I click on it right now, it's gonna cost me a dollar forty to buy a dollar worth of bits. So Twitch gets forty cents on that dollar, but the streamer doesn't see that, right? Like, because you you're only buying a hundred bits. So if you wanted to 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 give me a hundred bits. You paid 140 to give me 100, if that makes sense. And then, of course, there's different streamers who have uh, different cuts. Obviously, someone like Ninja, uh, Doctor Disrespect, all those, all those high-end streamers, the lyrics of the world, they don't have a 50/50 cut on uh, on these subscriptions. They probably have something closer to a 70/30 payout. 
um, which is obviously far better for them. So, you know, whatever works for them is the best. So, but, uh, you know, they, once you have a partner contract, that, that's all in negotiations. Like, if you're a large enough channel, you can start discussing what your cuts are going to be. Like, me as just an affiliate, um, I have no say. It's, it's a basic contract. Here's what it is. Uh, and here's what the take is for everybody, and that's it. There, there's no back and forth. They couldn't care less. If I don't want to sign an affiliate that's contract, fine. then I don't have, I don't get bits. It's that simple. But if I was a, a big name guy, hey, you never know. A good-looking face like this, it might happen one day, right? Uh, for sure, I'd be arguing back and forth with them uh, with as to what family. I would believe my take would be. Absolutely. But that's that's been one that's been one large argument of a lot of people have said like Twitch takes or Amazon depending upon how you want to look at it it's Amazon in the end uh, they take a fairly large stake of of bits or cheers that that's a large percentage especially when you think of it just on the dollar end forty percent is a is a huge charge I mean PayPal only charges I think I believe give or take at most. Uh, two percent, three percent, maybe even four percent on the high end, depending upon whether you're you're mixing around with different uh, currencies. Um, but you know they're not taking anything into the double digits, which is ridiculous. So a lot of people, that's why they say, um, I've seen a few channels where they don't even like having cheers. I don't know why you wouldn't want to have cheers because there's no buyback issue. But again, for the person who's buying the bits. Uh, they're paying a premium. That's what sucks. Whereas if you wanted to go through, uh, oh, I don't know, let's just say, um, let's say if you wanted to go through that, help me buy more beer. If you clicked on the Streamlabs link, um, you're only paying uh, the very, very small minimal fee, which is like a percent or two. So, you know, if you want to help me buy beer, you know, that's the better way to go because it's not locked out in any way, shape, or form. Amazon ain't taking their cut on the Streamlabs side of things. But again, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying people need to tip my channel or anything. I don't feel it's necessary at all. I do this purely as a hobby because I enjoy it. I enjoy talk I, I enjoy talking with people. I enjoy talking with friends. It's it's fun to share my experiences of gaming uh, with the audience cuz that's what streaming is all about. If you were a big streamer, you just set up my own night. Well, that the one so there is no non-subscription, -sub right? Like, there, there's no other way to work it. Okay. If you're a Twitch streamer, if you want to make some money through subscription service, there's no other way to do it. There's, there's no third party that does that. In fact, I'm pretty sure that Twitch would probably shut you down if you did that. Because you're bypassing their service. I'm sure it's in their terms of service, actually. It's working... Working the beer through. Indeed. All right. So now that everyone's left the the dining hall, we're gonna go. Oh, we got the hiccups now. Whew. I'm not gonna go off on my own. However, we just gotta do our search list separately. It doesn't mean we can't work together anymore. So but that goes for all of us. We gotta do our own investigations to figure out what the problem is. So there used to be, if I if I wanna if I wanna remember, um, before before the affiliates existed, I'm trying to think of this the website. There used to be a website that actually did subscriptions. Um, Correct. I'm sure I can't remember what it was now. It's probably long gone now. Now that affiliates happened. But there used to be a site where you could subscribe to them, and the cut obviously wasn't 50-50. Um, it sort of worked sort of like Patreon. What would happen would be is you put money into an account onto this website, and then if you wanted to subscribe to someone, it obviously wouldn't show up as anything on Twitch because it's not a Twitch subscription. There'd be no emotes or, or anything fun like that. Um, but... Uh, you know, you're still helping out the streamer uh, monetarily, right? So, you know, yeah, you ain't getting any of the emotes like like our fun things that we have going on here. Um, 
but uh, you know you're 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 still not touching uh, anything on Twitch's end. So I'm pretty sure you'd probably would get shut down pretty quick with that. But that's all just the, the very small amount of information that I know of, obviously. Uh, I think it's time to go uh, take a look at the Makuro's Monokuma file. And uh, then we'll go on over probably to the dormitories. Ugh, the body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Makuro Ikisaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. Headmaster's room, the bio lab, the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on, these are all areas we can head to. Yep, well let's head to the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now. Alright. Let's get it started. Places to check. Ah, uh, second floor of the dorms, eh? Where do we want to go? Uh, I did, so, I did play Final Fantasy XV. What happened was last year, I started Final Fantasy XV uh, just before I broke my, uh, my finger. Um, and what happened was when I came back uh, after the three months of having my, my cast off, um, I couldn't, like, the, the, the way the controls work, the way uh, it, it sort of expected quite a bit out of me, um, it wasn't something I could really play at that point in time, and now I almost feel like, I don't know if it's something I could go back to now or not, uh, if that makes sense. I don't want to make it sound like I, I don't, I'll ever not go back to it. I, I, I might. Um, it's certainly, you know, it's certainly a... Uh, on the cards, but I, I just don't know at this point in time if that makes sense. I did try it, and then of course, it, then that's what happened. I, bro I broke my goddamn finger. You just started playing it. How do you? How are you liking it? Are you playing it on the PC or uh, the Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy or on uh, the PS4 or Xbox? So where are these dorms on the the second floor here? Where do we want to go? Enter the door to the northeast. I don't even think this is where we're supposed to go. Right, let's just go back there and, and go back to the dormitories proper. Like, I didn't even know there were second second floor of dormitories. You can't afford a PC to run that game. I'm not made of high-end graphics card money, so I'm playing on the PS4. Eh, I mean, good on ya. I don't know what kind of PC would we would we require to run that. Like on the PS4, it looks like a fantastic game. That's what I have it on day one edition, of course. Um, even though I haven't really played it much, but uh, it looks great. Uh, I have seen uh, videos of it on uh, uh, of the PC, but you know, I agree with you. Enter the door on the northeast. Probably this one. Do you, do you have a PC? Like, I assume you have a PC, just nothing special, right? What terrible dorms. 
just garbage. Well, I mean, it looks like a bed. Open the door just a crack, glance inside and immediately close it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. Leave the area, yes. There isn't much we can really go on. We've been in that room, so we'll, we'll head up here. Bathrooms. What's in here? Something with the giraffe poking on out. Uh, you saw the Gordon costume DLC. It looked hilarious. Yeah, I got a PC, but it's a couple of years behind. I mean, my PC itself is... Um, I built it when I moved into my apartment here, so it's about five years old. Um, I've replaced the graphics card. I used to have a, I want to say a 7980 when I built it. And uh, now I have a 960 in there right now. Uh, that was before the, the 10 series came out. But, you know, it works for what I need out of it. Oh, I think if you can play Dying Light at 60 frames, I'm pretty sure you could play Final Fantasy 15. But, uh, but then in my in, in my estimation, I would argue play it on the PS4. It, it's far better to play that on that. PS4 is a good system. And then now we got uh, denied. Bust up lockers. Nothing's happening. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so this room doesn't really feel like a student's room. No, it looks a little, a little too classy. It's got a more of an adult atmosphere. Correct. The headmaster's private room, Indeed. okay. We've been through this time several times, but we still only have one regret. And that's why I decided to check it out one more time. Let's check out the computer. It would seem Whoever used it last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results. Oh, they forgot to uh, delete their Pornhub history. That's unfortunate. But then we might be able to get some info However, on the ultimate despair. That's not much, though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. I just need to go open up my uh, my door. It's extremely hot in here. Let me turn on some air conditioners. Correct. here yeah it's about uh let's see what is it it's uh currently currently it's you know it's 11 o'clock at night it's only 25 degrees outside well i mean i say 25 degrees that's pretty hot for 11 o'clock at night but uh it was uh about 30 30 degrees 35 with the humidex which is about equivalent to about 95 degrees fahrenheit if that makes sense to you so extremely warm, uh, extremely humid and whatnot. So uncomfortable, obviously. That looks like a door is there. Of course, I only have a couple of 
I mean, it's generally comfortable in my apartment. I've got a couple of so... uh, window units, some uh, some uh, window bangers as they call them, uh, but it generally keeps uh, enough airflow uh, from the two Indeed. bedrooms uh, to flow on through. 108 degrees here. Where on earth are you again? I forgot. That sounds miserable. I think I might know how to open it. Well, how did you figure shit like that out? Indeed. Texas, I think, wasn't it right? Texas, okay, yes. Is that, is that about normal though? Like, I mean, I know Texas is a fucking big state. I mean, it's it's about I mean uh, the province I live in, which is like the equivalent of a, of a state. However, Ontario is huge. Um, I know that if I were to go way way up north in in my province, um, it would get extremely cold. And I know that you guys are far far further south than I am, um, but I'm pretty sure that it's true. if you go way up north in Texas, I'm sure it can get pretty cold. Uh, you know, later on or early on in the year, right? But I'm sure if you're within like uh, uh, within the Gulf area or towards Mexico, I could understand it getting really hot. Jeez. So there's just a hidden room that we couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there, but maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password, and if she can't figure it out, we don't stand a chance. The password could be something Kyoko might not even thought of, or something she didn't want to think of. For example, penises. What? I'm just trying to throw out names here, you know, penis. You know, is that the password name? I'm sure she hasn't tried it, I mean, it's totally understandable. She probably hasn't had the D in years. But after the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as the password, knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Uh, do you mind if we try it, just to be sure? Well, It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, do whatever you gotta do. Alright. Demonic, how you doing? Oh god, here comes cats. Yep, okay, over here. Over here, buddy. No, I'll, I'll move things. I'm moving things. Just don't step on my keyboard. Oh, God. You're stepping on everything. Your butt's in the way. Lie down. There you go. Thank you. Uh, so what do I enjoy more? This game or Nino Cooney? Um, I just got to move a cat's butt out of the way. Uh, I would say, arguably, I enjoy Nino Cooney more. Um, I don't know if this game is really up my alley. Um, and that's not to say that I'm not enjoying it, but, uh, I am playing it because, uh, someone gifted it to me. Um, so that is playing a part in it. I am enjoying it more than I was at the beginning of when I did start to play it. Um, but Nino Kuni is much more of a, of the game I would generally see myself playing on, on a daily basis as opposed to a visual novel horror type game if that makes sense well, of course my cat just stepped on all of the wrong things how dare she he sorry now you're gonna scratch me for saying that aren't you oh god he heard me you he heard me all right examine the computer let's see if we can find out that password again but good to see you, Demonic. Hey. If you're worried about me, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In case there, here goes nothing. Please don't tell me the password is password. Kyoko Kirijiri. Aren't you supposed to not make names passwords? Well, shit. Dang, in here I wanted to play Zero Escape. What's Zero Escape? I've never heard of it. Why? Yeah. 
Kyoko. How oh, great a boiler room. That sounds like fun. Hi, hey, buddy. Like, as my wife would call him, my chub chub. We don't even know how heavy he is. He's not even a year yet. It's a solid cat. Oh my god, you're hitting everything. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. You stay right there. You got excited. You thought I wanted to, to pick you up or something. Lie right there. Oh my god, you knocked over Chris Jericho. You knocked over Chris Jericho. You knocked over the Macho Man. You're knocking over Edge, my Funko Pops. Don't attack my hand. I've done nothing to you. Ow! I'm gonna, clean, I'm gonna clean the sleep off your face, and you're not gonna like it, because heaven forbid you know how to clean your face. Yeah, you don't like it, do you? Let me clean your eyes! You don't want stuff inside them? You silly goose? I guess you're a cat, not a goose, but still. Alright, what do we need to do? Uh, we're in the we're in the, the headmaster's room. There's a present there, obviously. That's the first thing we're gonna look at. It's a bright colored box here. It seems totally out of place. Should we open it? Obviously. Yeah, I would have put the cat down after it knocked down the Slim Jim Man. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because I had this conversation with my wife. He only comes up here because Gavin is the he wants he wants to be around people. Or yes, he wants to be around us. Uh, he's he's a very needy kitty, uh, and I can't blame him for that. I mean, I I'd be upset with myself if I didn't uh, spend time with my cats that. I purchase right like there's a lot of there's a lot of mean-spirited people in this world who don't want to spend time with their animals anyway. and I'd feel terrible if I didn't want to spend time with my my friend my friends the animals my kitties uh, when they want to show interest in me so I'd feel really bad um, if I had to uh, get rid of them but uh, I mean if he starts knocking over everything yeah I'll, I'll put him down but he generally just wants to be around me he's sitting there licking me just because he's making sure I still taste good, obviously. Do I taste good? I think I do. That and he like weighs like 13 pounds for like a, a one-year-old cat. But he's solid. Solid as a fucking tank. Like, you know how it's like, you know how you can tell like on some cats, like they have like a little bit of a, or like a big pouch on them. Like it's just like a fat pouch. But this boy is solid. He's our boy, and he's still nimble as fuck. I mean, all our cats are, they're all still kittens, as I would imagine. Like, they're, they're, they're still, uh, Coco, the oldest, is just over a year right now. Um, you know, but they're all, they're all great cats. Oh, there he is, there he goes. Okay, don't, no, nope. oh my God, that's alcohol. Nope, over here, why can't you decide where you wanna sit? Nope, don't touch my alcohol. Nope, don't lick it. Nope, over here. His problem is he can't decide where he wants to sit. He keeps switching back and forth, back and forth, so. I'm stuck with it. it. Doesn't matter, morning or night, whenever I stream, that's what I'm stuck with. There he goes. How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there, human bones. Wrong. Alright, well, it's not like I was thinking of the bone specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. My body! Uh, is that him? Correct. Is that, is that your dad? My dad's got a dick in the box! Oh, that got grim. They were able to fit an entire skeleton in that little box there? Are you cereal?
Hold on. How can you know for sure? How do you know that's him? So... Well, given all the information we have already, that's the only possible hammer. Her dad was a skeleton. I know, right? Like, how shocking was that? Daddy was a skeleton? How did, how did the skeleton have sex with Kyoko's mom in order to pop out a kid that's Kyoko? I'm as shocked as you are. I didn't know skeletons could procreate. But here we are. Little did I know, apparently. The skeleton was busy boning everybody. Everybody. That's a skeleton joke right there. That's a really bad pun there, but it's going to work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to allow it. I'm going to certainly allow it. He had a bone to pick with her. Exactly, right? Exactly. God, I'm so confused. All these, all these bots that are in, in chat every once in a while, it's hilarious. They're coming up with some pretty good names. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. In other words. Hey Quad, how you doing buddy? Good seeing you as always. Soup! Nobody is ever calm when they see dead bodies. I mean, I, you know, Eventually, you're gonna see a body here and there. You go to enough funerals, those are bodies. Maybe they're wax mannequins. I don't have no fucking idea. Maybe the funeral business is pulling fast ones on us all fucking day. You never know. With those costs that they're throwing out there, no wonder. Maybe it's because mannequins are a lot of money, and they don't want to. You know that that's that's the problem, right? They take your, your you take your family, your your friends, and and. When they're dead, they just uh, put them on a train to Mars or something. Yes, there's a train to Mars, um, and uh, that's uh, that's how it works. You know, you're, that's a dead body is just a friend that can't say hello anymore. Exactly, right? That's it. Shalikard, you are a majestic fuck. You know exactly what's going on. No, no, no. Shal Shalikard's on top of things. He is the man. He knows what's going on. Dead body is Lionel Richie who can no longer sing Hello Is it me you're looking for? I can't see it in your eyes I can see it in your smile And then we're not going to sing anymore because it gets dark as fuck what else do we got to look at here? Uh, the picture. I don't see a picture other than uh, a lovely boy, lovely girl, maybe. I don't know. Is it a father and a young daughter? It looks like it. Faded. Old as fuck. Kyoko, is that you and your faja? It is. Why would you... This is annoying. Well, it's just right behind you. You expect me not to look? And yet here we are. Looking happy as ever. I don't know. Maybe your dad has got an angry look on him. Possibly. I can only assume not. Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time. Have we figured out who the headmaster is? Huh? Does anybody know who the headmaster is? No, nobody knows. To cut him out of your life for abandoning you, but he's dead! He's sitting in that little box behind you. Dead! Nobody knows. And he's abandoned you again. Look, dead people are abandoning people 24 7. It happens. Watch this. Dead. Someone in the world, dead. Now, correlation, people, is my snapping of the fingers killing people out in the world? You don't know. Quite possibly, I could be arrested by the police of India. I don't know. But 
People are dying left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Is it because of me snapping my fingers? No! I don't have the power of Thanos! I wish I did. I wish I did. Because right now, I wouldn't be as... I wouldn't be as greedy as Thanos. I wouldn't eliminate half of the population. But just a quarter. Just a quarter. I think we could do without a quarter of the population, ladies and gentlemen. Now, does that mean we're going to get rid of the quads and the shadow cards of the world and the demonics? No! No, I guarantee they would stay because once I snap that finger, I snap this finger. And that means that they stay because they're friends, they're well-wishers, they're acquaintances. I don't want to see them leave. We're getting real here, people. Maybe it's the booze talking. No, it's not. It's not. I haven't had enough of the booze yet to have that effect. Well, she can tell him all she wants now. I'm pretty sure it's not going to... No, you're right. It ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. Let's go check out the lolly dong desk. Let's figure this shit out. What, what's been going on in the desk here? The headmaster's desk, of all things. Hiding some type of clue. A raging clue, perhaps. Probably some condoms that he should have used before Kiyoko was born. Why can't we use or touch the desk without Kyoko's permission? Do we even know... It was her dad's desk. Come on now, th this is rather silly. I, I I can't think that it's that silly. That is getting, hey. you know, heaven forbid we touch someone else's desk. Come on now, maybe you were conceived by someone getting fucked because... on that desk. Did you ever think of that, Kyoko? Your dad just going, Woo! right on top with your mom? No, you didn't think of that one. You didn't, you didn't, not at all, nope. Didn't think of that one. Now it got dark as fuck. Now it got dark as fuck. You can just think of the skeleton just rattling his bones. You're just going like that, going crazy. An e-handbook. In case of emergency, it, there's just going to be condoms in there. That's all that there's going to be in there. That's it. Just condoms. Magnum condoms. In other words... Oh. No limitations. No, we're never right. It would seem... Continue the investigation? Sure, why not? We gotta get to the bottom of this. Oh, don't make me hold on to anything. I'm very clumsy. I don't want to be held responsible if and when I lose everything. No, it's not okay. I just said that. Oh, now you gave me the handbook? Great. Well then. Hey. Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? Sure. You can ask me a favor anytime. What is it? So... It's completely unreasonable to ask you this. Like, look, if she wants to ask us to have sex, get down and dirty, we're more than open to that type of thing. But we all know it's not going to be something that great, that grand. Correct. You just want to be... It's the complete opposite, ladies and gentlemen. She wants to be alone. She wants to fiddle her D. That's what she wants to do. Fiddle D D, my Higgle D D. We can't help with that. Just a second. Need to get those emotions in order, eh? Well, I can help with that. I can be your Ronnie to your Sammy. Okay, that didn't really work out for anybody on the Jersey Shore, but I think it can work it out for here in the Hope's Peak Academy. No? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? No. Not at all. I can just hope that I'm making everyone just have a little bit of a smirk or a smile on their face, laughing out loud. That's what I hope I bring to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I can settle theories for everybody. You want to talk about the theory of relativity? I'll blow it out of the water! I... It might not be true, but you know what? I'll give you a solid argument to anything you can come up with. Anyway... I'll take Destiny right now and I'll sit there and I'll debate him on anything. How about we debate on masturbation? No, wait. He's banned off Twitch for a month. And he deserved at least so. He didn't want to play the hustle. Meanwhile, he's doing better on YouTube than he ever did on Twitch to begin with. 
Oh, here comes Kitty again. Come on up, buddy. You know, I'm gonna have to move my drinks again. Who's banned? Uh, I don't know if you know the, the, the streamer Destiny. Destiny. He's a fucking loser, that's what he is. Might as well be an incel. Okay, yep, yeah, there goes the cat again. Hey! Move your butt! What is wrong with you? Every five seconds you're crossing your big butt in front of us? If you knock over Chris Jericho once again. So, can I just ask a question? Incel's a new word that popped up within the last month or so. When I looked up what an incel was and what they were described to be, does that not just sound like they're neckbeards? Am I wrong in thinking that? That's just what sound that, you know, that's what they are, right? Incels is old as, yeah, well that's the thing, Quad, you're, you're on top of it. Incel is not a new, new age word, it's not, it's been out for a while. But that's, but that's what I was thinking, when, when, when the new age fucking millennials, even though I'm a millennial, I'm not thinking the same way, when they decided to throw out that new word, incel, it basically sounded like they were describing neckbeard. What are you doing? Again, what are you crossing over? Do you want the booze? The cat wants the booze. Yes, it, I, yes, it did start in Canada. It did. Mostly super disgusting and shitty talks, but isn't that a neckbeard? Isn't a neckbeard essentially a super disgusting, toxic person? Yes, everything good starts in Canada. Yes, it does. Everything. Russian incel. Oh, there you go. Quad knows his shit. Quad knows his shit. Every cat enjoys a good butt massage, don't you? Yeah! Yes, yes. There, there are also female incels. There are. It's 2018, of course. Female neckbeards. Yes. Well, I mean, you know what? You travel the world long enough, and I'm sure you're going to run into a few women who have a few whiskers on their face. A little bit of, little bit of arm hair, sure, because heaven forbid they shave, you know, because they think, like, heaven forbid I look good. That's probably some type of, I ain't going to go look good for no man, right? That That's how that works, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to get banned for saying, speaking my mind, these types of things, right? That's how it happens. And that's how, ladies and gentlemen, nice guy. Oh, is this safe to click on to? I guess we'll find out. Let's find out. Am I, am I clicking on something? Oh, no, that didn't work out at all. Thank God. Otherwise, this is going to take me tr straight to a fucking porn site. You know what? I wish niceguy.exe took me right to a porn site. Yeah, terms of service indeed. Oh, sending it to Dr. Twitch. Is that Dr. Disrespect? Fuck him. No, it's nothing. No, it's nothing at all. It's nothing at all. Dr. Disrespect likes to talk about himself as being the face of Twitch. Meanwhile, he's a fucking miserable, ugly as fuck. Nobody is as good looking as me on Twitch. I literally am a very good host away from being the biggest fucking thing on Twitch. Oh, you mean Jeff, Jeff Bezos? Yes, he is the owner of Twitch, Dr. Twitch. He is a piece of shit. He is. He's entertaining. Let me get that out right. He's entertaining, I will give him that, but he is a piece of shit. There's a lot of streamers who are relatively entertaining, but are also huge pieces of shit. Maybe you think I'm a piece of shit, but maybe I'm entertaining, I don't know. But I generally think I have a good head on my shoulders, because uh, if not, um, my head would just fall off because it's not connected to anything. That's how that works. <laughs> All right, uh, we need to uh, exit and go to the locker room now. Where is the locker room? That's what we need to know. No, that's th those are terrible things. Is this the locker room? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not. Well, yeah, he has a mustache, but he's the guy who wears a uh, uh, he wears a wig. He looks all '80s like. Um, sort of his shtick is like an '80s jackass. Uh, generally, uh, he loses his mind over PUBG or um, uh, Fortnite, but you know. Whatever's gonna bring in your ten to fifteen thousand people that you're gonna be streaming to, whatever. 
Uh, no, I, I have not yet cheated on my wife, and then I decided to not make a comeback to Twitch and make it a giant event. Not yet. So maybe that's something coming in the cards. I, I should probably let my wife know that maybe uh, in order for me to become popular, I have to cheat on her, take a brief hiatus off of Twitch, and then uh, we'll make a million bucks in one day, and then it's all fucking nice, right? Yeah, that's how it works, right? Yeah, exactly. Speaking of which, have you considered tipping to my channel? Because that just popped up out of nowhere at the perfect time now, didn't it? No. Um, yeah, like, there's a lot of people who seem to think that I, including myself, like, it's so comical that he decided, Mr. Guy Beam, his real name, decided to pop up a real, um, video of, like, stupid fucking mistakes, man, and, and showing his real face, then taking a few months off, coming back, like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, people know it's you, like, why didn't you just, you know, why don't you just be honest with everybody? That That's it. Like, just, just be honest. That's it. Uh... But at the north. Okay, so we need... Okay, so we should have gone up there. Oh, that's where we wanted to go. Oh, the locker room. I missed that part. I didn't know that was a locker room anymore. Apparently it is. I was already in there and it was nothing. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I do believe it was staged. I, like, let me put it this way. I don't think, I don't, th I mean, I believe he probably cheated on his wife. And if you do the math, I don't think he'd be still with his wife. Um, I, if you do the math, I believe he found out that she was pregnant again. Um... But unfortunately, they, I guess they lost their, 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 their next to be child, I guess. But a lot of people sort of ran the numbers and was like, oh, like, so the way it sort of worked out was like, they probably figured that she was pregnant. And then you're like, hey, look, you know, it's probably going to work out for me. Hey, I made stupid fucking mistakes, man. But, uh, um, I think it, it was absolutely, it was staged to the point that, uh, he didn't need to take a few months off. Not absolutely. He could have bounced on into it, um, and, and, it, and it would have been fine. Um, you know, would he have been as popular as he is right now? Probably not, but he was still running 10 to 15,000 people watching his stream regardless, so it, it didn't really matter uh, in any way, shape, or form, in my opinion. I don't know. Like I said, he's he's entertaining, but he's a piece of shit. And there's a lot of people who are like that as well. I mean, I, I sit here and, and I say this every once in a while. And, you know, once the booze starts flowing, I, I start to open up a little bit more. Um, there's different streamers for different things. If you take a peek at looking at someone like Ninja, perhaps. That guy doesn't do fucking shit when he streams. Let's get to the, 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 the point of stuff with him. He's good at Fortnite, I'll give him that. Is that why people watch him? Because it certainly isn't for the fact of him interacting with anybody or thanking the fucking thousands of dollars that he gets a day or the subscriptions he gets a day. I understand he gets a lot of people coming into his stream and he can't literally thank everybody. But the mere fact that it's purely a gameplay stream, what makes him any different from any other streamer like myself on the platform other than oh look at me i fucking teamed up with a few hollywood celebs like drake and blah 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 that's when he hit it big you know what if i can find out a way to fucking call up drake right now and ask him to fucking charm up and play twitch danganronpa am i gonna get a hundred thousand people tuning on in maybe i don't fucking know but that's what it turned out to be that's all that it matters yeah, like, Ninja only got that big because of his association with Hollywood. That's it. That is it. It ain't because he's doing anything special. That's for darn sure. Ninja does nothing special. <coughs> Boy, I, I agree with you, Quad. I agree with you. It's just that I'm, tr I'm trying to think... Like I, when I when I ask my nephews, like they know they know who Ninja is, right? But what I'm saying is, 
Ninja is only that big. Like, if you go back and you look at him, like, I remember... I remember when it was twi uh, Twittered out that Ninja the Streamer was streaming with Drake and a couple other people. I think there was an NFL player and one other guy. Yeah, he's super good at Fortnite. He's super good. And that happens to be the most popular game in the world right now. Yeah, that helps. But... He was only getting your normal, popular rate of people. He was only getting the the 10 to 20,000 people watching his stream, which is still absolutely bonkers. But the second he tweeted out, like, hey, I'm going to be playing with Drake, who had no idea what the fuck he was doing in Fortnite and all those other people. That's when, like, out of nowhere, like, oh... I gotta tune into this. And then it became like, now everyone watches him. Like, that's it. Like, the fact that that guy went two days because he went to an appearance and then tweeted, get this, tweeted the fact that he lost 40,000 subscribers because he decided to take two days off to go to an event. The mere fact that he even brought that up is disgusting. The mere fact that you can lose 40,000 subscribers and still be like, ah, man, we're still good. Of course you're good. You make a half a million fucking dollars a month. And that's not including donations or tips. That's purely based upon his subscriptions from Twitch. That's what everyone knows and based upon what his breakdown is. Because he stopped streaming at two bad days, which coincided with the Twitch Primes switching over. You, like, generally I think the time of the Twitch Prime when that started was anywhere between, I want to say, the 15th to the 20th of the month. He decided to take a couple days off there. That was his mistake. Now he went to an event, made money. That's all him. But he bitched about it. He bitched about it. How do you get to that 1020k? I think you need help. I've said it time and time again. I, I, I've I've heard enough people bitch about the you gotta get out there and network. Let me get this straight. So you want me to go network? Okay, sure. I go out and I watch same-minded people. They go out. Uh, I, I go on and look at different uh, streams. I, I hang out with friends. Rule number one. When you're hanging out with friends in a stream, the first thing you would do, if I, I don't dare would ever go into quad stream and go, oh, hey, everyone, by the way, I'm going to be streaming in 10 minutes if you want to hop on over into my channel. That's the fucking dumbest thing you would ever do, and you should absolutely get banned by quad if you ever even dared say that. Um, you, you can't say that shit. That, that just doesn't exist. But people do say that. And, and they get called out on it. it. Yeah, it would be shitty. It is shitty. You can't do that shit. Um, but what, it, what, it, what is networking? Like, what is it? Like, uh, yeah, what you need to do is make friends with everyone in the channel. Yeah, exactly. But, you, but how am I supposed to tell everyone that I stream without being a dick about it, right? Yeah, I yeah I, I get it. I, that that is how that works, and, and that's how it can go about. But networking isn't as simple as uh, as many people who just. Uh... My argument has always been like a lot of the big time streamers. One of two things. Yeah, you gotta spam the big boys. Yeah, exactly. Um, one of two things happen. A, they either started streaming when Twitch came out. And then they were just big because there wasn't much going on. Or number two, they were rated, hosted, or somehow affiliated with a larger streamer, uh, whether they're friends or affiliation in any way, shape, or form. And they told them, hey, go visit my buddy blank, check out his channel. And he was absolute shit. But because he just has the association with someone like, say, uh, Soda Pop, and Nin what doesn't matter. They're gonna bring their horde of people, and if you can take that horde of people, and if you can sort of speak their mind, if you can agree with them, some of them are gonna be trolls. A lot of them are trolls. If you if you can harness them, they'll stick around. They'll subscribe to you. They'll follow you all day. 
And that's how, that's all it takes. It doesn't take much. If you can turn a good raid or a good host from someone big and take advantage of that, oh, it doesn't take long at all to become popular. Doesn't matter what the fuck you're doing. But that's just an honest opinion in my, in, in my eyes. That's all. But I don't think it's far from the truth at all. Not at all. I need more beer. I mean, I think uh, I think smaller streamers like Quad uh, would probably agree with me. I don't want to put words in his mouth or anything, but I'm sure he's been down the same roads that I have been. I go into the discords. I go on Twitter. I, I, I try my best to advertise my stream without being overly stupid and being shitty on other people's streams because dare I would never advertise my own stream on someone else's channel. There's only so much you can do. Do you want to sign up for a shitty team that's going to fucking retweet everything and then nobody's going to show up anyways and then you're just part of a, an annoying team? No, that's not fun either. Like, there's got to be some way, shape, or form that you can get noticed. And, and I've always said for the longest time that uh, maybe it's time for Twitch to stop sucking the dick of the big time streamers. Maybe it's time that they sort of helped out the little guy. And they're starting to slowly realize that, that there's more money in getting a lot of people noticed as opposed to running on those 10 to 20 big time streamers and just hoping to God that none of them make a fucking mistake. Because God knows that's going to happen. All it takes is a little bit of glug glug, you know, lift up the shirt or go on an ISIS stream and there you know you're going to be banned for 30 days and, and God knows that will ever happen but uh, that's the type of thing that uh, they always got to worry about is that big time streamer does something stupid and uh, they got to ban them for a few days and, and there goes their revenue stream for a bit right so you want to take in wholesome people uh, that are going to be uh, a help to your uh, your website I don't know. Am I the best thing that want uh, the Amazon wants right now? Is the guy playing a Japanese uh, horror visual game, having a little bit of Di Serono on the rocks? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything offside, but you know, how do I get noticed? I don't know. I need the help from multiple people. I need the help from multiple things, multiple streams. Uh, multiple things need to be. The stars need to align. Is what needs to happen. Exactly, exactly. You're right, Chalicard. Absolutely. Yeah, get yourself there and then we'll talk. I'd always be afraid that if I was a, a big time streamer, then the then the microscope is on you, right? Um, you're gonna have the you're gonna have those trolls who are gonna be looking for you to make that one mistake. Uh, so that they can report you, and then and then the uh, you know the Twitch uh, is forced to uh, forced to look at you and uh, you know maybe figure shit out. Yeah, like I've always thought, like at my point in my stream, um, I would like to you know say out of nowhere. I don't know, some big time streamer decided to scroll on down and find someone who's, uh, you know, who's got, you know, under five viewers and he, and he clicks on my stream and boom, I get raided and, uh, 5,000 people just blow up on into my stream. Now, one thing that I have done that a lot of people don't do, but I am ready for that amount of people. Now that might sound like I'm being a little bit of a pompous jackass, but no, it's, it's not quite that. Uh, what I mean by that is, I have all of my moderation tools set and ready. So, I can't get some jackass coming in here saying the N-word. I can't say have people coming in here doing the uh, ASCII uh, crap of drawing penises and dicks. That ain't gonna happen in my stream, okay? Like, they wanna come in here and cause trouble. Now, they could spam my, my follow, they could spam my, my subscription, but you know what? That's only helping me, okay? Like, sure, you can blast that all day, but you know what? They're they're set with that. Oh, don't you even dare go there, Shalakard. You're being a silly nanny right now. Uh, let's just say uh, Hulk Hogan said it once on uh, on uh, on uh, no, it was uh, 
It was uh, Booker T, I believe, that said it, I think. I want to know what's inside. What do we got? Nothing? Nazi. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably fucking banned too, right? Uh, I thought I've opened up every locker, but I'm trying to find some type of crystal ball. Oh, there we go. I thought I opened this already. Uh, no, 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 no. It was it was Booker T was uh, when in, uh, was doing a promo on Hulk Hogan, and he used the N word on on live TV. He said, "We're coming for you." Blank. <laughs> and then he realized he said it, which is so funny. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's great. I mean, the Hulkster used that, I believe, on uh, uh, off of camera, but not really off camera because that's why he was banned from WWE until last week. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, we got some cards, so we're gonna check those out. Blank starts with a B and not an N. Yeah, exactly, right? But white, they aren't to use for telling fortunes. Just a coincidence. Uh, and then there's notebooks. No studying done by this guy. Uh, all right, so then we should be able to exit this room now that everything's been uh, started uh, and looked at. What? Yes, yeah, so here at Hagukero. Well, he did say he did have a crystal ball, of course. Looks like a bunch of crazy math. I'm trying to find out how much more I have left of this uh, chapter. And it's a ton. I don't think I'll be able to fit. I, I really wanted to finish it tonight, but as I'm looking at it, there's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to finish this off tonight. Not at all. So we'll, we'll sort of see where we get. And maybe we'll find a, a good spot where we can maybe call it a day. But I know, uh, I know Wings of Wind was telling me that it's maybe a three to four hour rant. And we've been here for two hours, and it still looked like an easy two hours. At least, at least another two hours. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's the other thing. That's what Lauren told me as well, is this is the longest trial. Um, so I'm, I'm starting to think that three to four hours is probably on the conservative end. Um, but I'm starting to think it's probably closer to a five-hour five hour job. The only problem I have is uh, I got a call from my boss today uh, that they want to switch me to nights for the next few months, straight nights for the next few months. Generally, this was my nighttime stream. Now, of course, I do have days off during the week, so it'll still be a possibility, but it might just be another week until we uh, are able to finish it. So that's the problem that uh, sort of arises, but I do generally uh, stream during the day as well. Uh, generally, that's just kept for more of like a daytime stream though, so. That's sort of the, the way we go with it. Um, all right, I think we're going to go to the data center, and then that's probably where we'll we'll call it a day from there. So let's go find the data center. Well, well, the funny thing is, though, I don't mind. I don't mind nights. I like nights, actually. Uh, quite, quite frankly, because you're not dealing with any of the bullshit. I don't like working in... in the daytime because it's busy not that I don't mind being busy because it makes the day go by fast but um, a lot of bullshit you're doing you know management's around a lot of bullshit's happening during the day I mean I, I would just rather you know if I could avoid that at all and, and have a nice easy go I mean why not so um, I, I, you know, I, I feel for them I'm doing them a favor and, 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 and go from there obviously It's very, I mean, there's a reason why he asked me to work straight nights is because I'm, I was always switching with people to work straight nights. 
Um, so he sort of knew, like, hey, why not? Why don't I ask this guy to work straight nights? Because it's going to work out well for us, right? You didn't have because nobody else likes to work it. So, generally, general, yes. I, I, you know, there isn't much going on. There's usually only two of us working. So, you know, you're you're switching between two job spots, and uh, they're both dead. You know, we have about two hours of work that needs to be done. So, you know. I download a bunch of stuff on uh, Netflix and you know and, and watch a bunch of catch up on a bunch of my shows. Why not? So that's what it is. All right. Uh, what is there in there? Examine the device. What, what's the device in here? There's a lot of stuff. You need that job. It's not always. It's not always as fun as it may seem. I mean that that's only if things all go well. Uh, when shit hits the fan, it's a terrible, terrible place to be at. You know, uh, uh, whether it be uh, uh, fires, uh, someone requires medical attention, uh, trespassers, someone being a jackass. Uh, you know, there's a lot of shit that can go down, and when it's only down to two people, it doesn't make it that fun of a of a job. Well, that doesn't mean she doesn't care. Oh, well, who does care? All right, so that's the killing game that's being broadcast live across the world, like Demolition Man. Oh, let you take cover first. Go ahead, open up the door. Oh shit. This is like Five Nights at Freddy's. My first impression was uh, it's totally sci fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Of course, why wouldn't you be thinking the same thing? I'm trying. I'm looking at my viewer list. I'm trying to figure out like which one of you are bots. Like, I'm like, okay, I know Commander Root is a boss. Decaf Smurf, that's got to be a boss. Demonic Intellect, that's a boss. No, that's not. Um, Lesbio One, that's got to be a boss. Boss Bot. And then Slow Cool, I'm so confused about half these people. And then, of course, there's Shadow Card. Five Nights at Teddy's, yeah, look at those Tatas, right? Teddy's, Tatas, doesn't matter. Alright, we're in the control room. Yes, you are, yes, you are the bots. You are the bots that are running everything. Bloop. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. I know you're a fake person, Demonic. I've seen you stream. It's all fake. <laughs> oh, fuck, can I gotta have a shower? I got, I got home late from baseball. That's the problem. I gotta wet my hair. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Don't start pushing buttons. I'll start pushing your buttons later. But it was too late. She mashed all the buttons. She probably exploded everything. Oh, what a fucking moron she is. Typical woman. Did you hear that? It sounded like uh, Monokuma stepped on in. <laughs> oh, you're not totally sure. Ha ha ha, yeah, we don't know what we did. I'm just a dumb blonde. No, brunette, but still. The button says data center. Great. What did you hit? Great. She fucked everything up. All right, well. We're gonna go back to the data center. Yeah. But we're gonna take care of that another time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day because this fucking thing isn't even close to being done. And I was certainly hoping it would be. But, uh, probably looking at, probably, to be honest. Mm, what? 
Yes, it's Fax you a drink. I, w I wish I could. I'm, I'm running a little low myself here if you can't see that quad. But uh, if I could fax you a Di Serono on the rocks, I certainly would, buddy. It probably costs more in, in postage than it would anything. But uh, yeah, uh, I gotta go have a shower. I'm fucking exhausted. I've been up for 14 hours today. And uh, it's just time for bed. Uh, stream twice. But we'll be streaming tomorrow morning with Nino Cooney. Uh, for those of you who are unemployed or don't work in the mornings, feel free to drop on by. Probably, I think I put in for 10, but we're probably going to push that back to 11 because, you know, the drinks have been flowing today. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, we'll jump on into that for tomorrow. And, uh, and then I got golf uh, as well in the afternoon. So as long as it doesn't rain. Or those of you who work at home, sure, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so Nino Cooney to uh, Revenant Kingdom will be continuing tomorrow and we'll probably bounce on into this to hopefully finish it up next week. But guys, I always appreciate you popping on in Shadow Card Quad Demonic. You guys are always uh, absolutely fantastic. Don't be racist about your work situation. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, but uh, I love every single each uh, one of you. Hi, you bum. Yeah, fucking bums. You're a fucking bunch of hobos. Um, but uh, yeah, all the best to you guys. Uh, and that's an absolute pleasure to actually have uh, someone to talk to uh, on a stream in, in, instead of, uh, you know, streaming to uh, just bots. So, uh, Demonic the Bot, uh, yeah. Uh, all the best to you guys. We'll bounce in from the data center and uh, continue on with uh, Nino Cooney. So, all the best, guys. Cheers as always. Goodbye and good night. Boom! Yeah, Commander Root for President. All the best, guys. See you later.